Hello. Okay. So, reading the vision of the Lord in all of his glory in Ezekiel chapter one, chapters 1 through 3 and 8 through 11 are almost unimaginable. The way that Ezekiel describes God in his appearance transcends human language. Ezekiel does his best to humbly describe what he saw by using words such as the likeness of a throne in appearance like sac- sapphire and seated above the likeness of a throne was a likeness with human appearance. Ezekiel is humble in his description of the Lord in his glory because it surpasses all that people have ever seen. Ezekiel talks about the colors that the Lord is clothed with. He writes about it being in the likeness of rainbows. I'm sure that he saw colors that are outside of the Roy G. Biv color scheme. My favorite part of this chapter is Um, sorry. Describing God's glory is how Ezekiel says in chapter 3, verse 15. And I came to the exiles at Tel Abib who were dwelling by the Shabar Canal. And I sat where they were dwelling. And I sat there overwhelmed among them for seven days. I would be absolutely needing to take at least a month to process and put into words, words what I just saw. In the next verse... It is written that God spoke at the end of the seven days. This reminds me of the kindness and compassion of God. He gave Ezekiel some time to process what he had just witnessed. These chapters are clearly revealing more than just God's character. The pictures that Ezekiel describes gives a visual context to the glory and power of God. It is essential to be reminded that God is the author of everything. He is the creator of creativity. He made everything beautiful. Ezekiel reminds me through his visions of just just how holy and set apart the Lord is. He is completely other in our eyes. Language and human nature cannot contain the glory or accurately describe it. When Ezekiel sees God and his angels, he falls down on his face as a natural reaction. This text reinforces that the presence of God demands a response. God is confrontational in the most perfect way. When we encounter him, his holiness, his glory, we are moved to a different position. If we seek God for who he truly is, we cannot be the same. Ezekiel was never, was forever, sorry, Ezekiel was forever changed and this is the story For all believers who truly fell in love with the Lord, it may be a different encounter with God's presence, but no matter what, when we come into the presence of God, we leave changed. In this, it is incredible incredible and wild to think that the original plan for humanity was to walk with God in the garden. We were made to be in perfect, in a perfect direct relationship with an almighty God who is clothed with colors we are yet to see. In the visions that God shows Ezekiel, it is clear that the Lord is a God of justice. This passage puts it into perspective just how set apart and holy God is. According to Lagnier Ministries, there is no God with whom we can trifle, but the supreme sovereign who is to be adored for his glory and truth. The Lord was not showing off when he showed himself to Ezekiel. He was letting him in and calling him to be a part of his greater plan for his people. God showed Ezekiel all of the abominations going on within the house of Israel and invites him into walking with God in justice. This is the highest honor, even though it is a scary job that Ezekiel did not exactly apply for. These chapters are eye-opening and exciting. It is easy to get so caught up in the physical world that we live in, but to be drawn back into the greater picture of who God really is, is amazing.